And there's no better way to do a first impression of a fragrance than be in paradise, or what some people may call the Dominican Republic. So I brought a couple of sample fragrances with me, and one fragrance in particular fit my aesthetic perfectly. And the fragrance is by the house of Aaron Tarrant Hughes, and it's called Guapo. Roll my motherfucking music because I haven't smelled the fragrance, and this might be my sense of the evening. Blessed morning, my beautiful people. You know who it is. This is your boy. C3 is going to be today. So I have a sample of Guapo from Aaron Terrence Hughes. Huge. Aaron Terrence Hughes, which is uh, essentially the term Guapo is like handsome, good looking. Cuba. Everything I am physically and mentally. I'm just a walking image of perfection, a male model, Fabio's reincarnation of perfection. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna be trying out this fragrance, doing a first impressions in my balcony in paradise. I'm in a 17 bedroom villa. I'm not, it's like a fucking one beddy with like two double beds and I'm uncomfortable. Let's try the fragrance out right now. First impressions, I haven't smelled it. You guys have seen what the samples look like. No big whoop. Nobody cares. So uh, I don't know what it smells like, but let's try it on skin. I don't have a test strip, because why do we need that? And let's go ahead and snort a little guapo. I don't need to get close to smell it already. Whoa. Okay, so we definitely have a mass appeal DNA. It smells in the vein of a high-end designer fragrance with better quality ingredients. So what I'm picking up right above the Hawaiian Tropic and the Beach Bum Lotion, I'm getting salty citrus aquatic muskiness. I feel like there's a little bit of a lavender vibe. It's kind of a hybrid of like a blue de Chanel parfum edition with something else. There is a slight, slight reminder of a vintage-ish, but not Really? Very fun, very mass appealing, very sexy, very going out, very party time vibes, very vacation-y type of situation that we got going on here. I mean, I do smell guapo. I do smell handsome. I do smell delicious. This isn't a very unique fragrance in my personal opinion. It has a DNA that's kind of recognizable or just puts it in the category of other fragrances that we've smelled before in that mass appeal. But what it does smell of really good quality and just that couple of spray kind of gives it a decent performance factor right from rip. So I think that this Guapo uh, could be a suitable fragrance for this evening. So on a scale of one to 10, what would I rate Guapo? I'm gonna give it a solid seven. And Guapo is a seven fragrance. Mass appeal, bright, musky, citrusy, bluish. There's a hidden fruit undertone here, but I can't really recognize it or pinpoint it at this time. And it could be the Hawaiian Tropic that I'm feeling off of my skin, or it could be the girl who's blonde with massive boobs right across from me. Excuse me. That, <laughs> I, it was a guy. It was a guy with massive boobs walking across from me. Look at that ass on him. Excuse I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Yes, this is a ball sprayer. And I can go ahead and just, um. Yeah, it's a vibe. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and we'll see y'all bitches next time. Uh, please feel free to join me in the Dominican Republic. Uh, the room that I'm staying in is never the fucking mine. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag. When it's time to call back oh. for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib, hey. it's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>